NAS is an acronym for Network Attached Storage, and it's pronounced NAS. And NAS is all about sharing storage at the file level over TCP IP networks. So about this file level storage, files exist higher up the stack than blocks. So NAS devices share storage at a higher level in the stack than block storage devices like Fiber Channel SAN and iSCSI SAN. Block devices are raw devices and they need to be partitioned and formatted with file systems before you can use them. But this is not so with file shares. They're a lot simpler. You just mount it and away you go. No need for partitioning and formatting them. Now it might be easy to think of a NAS storage system, sometimes called a NAS appliance, a NAS array or a filer, as a purpose-built file server. File servers, like Windows servers and Unix servers, take local file systems and export or share them to other systems over the TCP IP network. And that's exactly what a NAS device does. It takes local storage resources, formats them with a file system, and shares and exports them to clients over an IP network. Now a major use case for NAS storage tends to be unstructured data. Typical unstructured data sets include file shares, team drives, home drives, and other typical document repositories. And just like traditional file servers, NAS devices apply permissions to files and folders that they share over the network. And NAS devices are really good for consolidating file servers. But another very popular use case for NAS storage is VMware. VMware over NFS, and NFS is a NAS protocol that we'll discuss shortly, is extremely popular. Now finally, before we go on to more detail, NAS has historically been perceived as slower and cheaper than fiber channel storage. And this quite often is true, but not always. For example, deploying NAS over a dedicated network with dedicated NICs cables and switches, as is common with VMware over NFS, can often push the price of a NAS deployment up so high that it's close to the cost of a SAN deployment. Also, the improvements made to networking technologies and NAS protocols over the recent years have massively improved the performance of NAS solutions. So don't be put off by someone telling you that NAS is low performance. It doesn't have to be. Now let's talk about NFS. 